Hello, this is Palico Patch, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition with mods. And we are playing with In Diana Jones and a few other mods which we will hopefully come across. We've got some extra animals and extra Trek members, and hopefully, somewhere a big bloody T Rex. Expedition 2 of 6. We're doing all right. We've got a little bit of moolah. The fame's going okay. We just need to crack on. All we need to decide what to do is whether we're going to be going to the Yalampani Desert or the Golden Drylands. Now, one of the last additions to the game that I played was a bonus for going to different biomes every time you do an expedition. So, with that being said, and because we don't have a lot of money or, more importantly, space at the moment, I'm thinking we're going to do the Drylands because with the desert we're going to have to hold water which is just another slot taken up so we're not going to worry about that for the time being i think we shall crack on with the golden drylands early that morning i made haste and arrived at the docks there were still some arrangements to be made so i took some pleasure in envisaging my name in the newspapers a scientist approached me this morning with a request he told me about a mysterious box that was buried somewhere in the area we were traveling to he promised to reward us generously if we brought it back to him Never open the box. That's something I learnt very early in the game. Never, ever open the box. But we will accept. We will accept. So, he nodded gratefully and wished us well. Before his departure, he warned us not to open the box. See, I told you. I told you. The news of my glorious adventures had spread, so I was not surprised to see that the boarding of our ship had drawn quite the crowd. I was approached by several capable persons that were eager for adventure. Who did I want to recruit? So, we have the cook and the trader. So, how are, how are dice looking? We've got the one attack dice there. We've got a defense dice there. We have the utility dice and an attack dice. So, some sort of utility or attack would be good, I suppose. So, we can have the whiskey of a trait. We can have the um, mushroom. Is, that, is it a mushroom trait? Cocoa trait. Uh, or we can just have extra sanity. And we can rest for free in missions. That could be quite useful. It's a pain in the ass, uh, all the missions. they are, Considering they are people of God, they don't half cost a lot to stay with them. You'd have thought it'd be free. We'll go with Sister Marion. We could indeed utilise the religious mind on our expedition and welcomed Sister Marion. Just in time, our vessel is ready to leave the harbour. So, let us buy some equipment. I don't think we've got enough cash monies to upgrade our donkey just yet. So, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll go with the equipment. How are we doing, really? How are we doing? We've got plenty of rope. We're okay for food, in all honesty. Um, torches are handy. We'll take those. We shall... We don't need shovels. Machetes, I don't think are going to come in too useful here. Med kits, arguably, yes. How much does that cost? 60. Maybe three? Three. Three is a good number. Uh, bullets, again, probably, now that we're, uh, uh, we haven't taken any more attack die on. But then again, we've got whiskey. Uh, but then again, people can get addicted to the whiskey. Now, we'll, we'll go for the bullets. We'll, we'll trust ourselves with the food cans. And we, if we kill stuff, we've got the chef to make food anyway. So we'll buy as many bullets as we can. And that'll do. That'll do. My heart jumped with joy as I heard that the ship was primed to Sally Thorpe. So Sally Thorpe we shall. On to Expedition 2. Sailing in. Beautiful, beautiful. Right in the corner, actually. That's good for us. Good, good, good. I was deeply absorbed in my studies about this area as we finally reached the shore of our expedition area. We had arrived and it was time to sally forth again. And all with the sallying today. Uh, right, we... Uh, is there anything we need to keep behind? I mean, arguably, we could walk through a bit of wood or jungle and get rid of that pretty quickly. Uh, the random teleportation might come in useful if we run out of sanity and no way to actually get it up. Oh, bugger. We did need one shovel. <laughs> okay, we, we might we might be upsetting the scientist. Uh, we'll just begin the expedition for the time being. Where is it? It's in the middle of a mountain range. Are we on a four-region map? We are. Okay, well... 
let's upgrade the chef so when we do cook some food it will be super duper nutritious yes yes and let us mm, then again where are we it might be here that would be annoying let's get up on the hill and have a look at the surrounding area Or then again, it might not be. That's that's actually good for us. That's good for us. Uh, 18 around. Or 17 to the north. You know what? That'll do fine. That'll do fine. Oh, our first shrine. A temple long forgotten by mankind stood bathed in light before us. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. Grand stairs led up to an enormous doorway. The building was cold to the touch. How very interesting. Cold. I can't remember cold. I can't remember that one. Before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. If this held, well, this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. I held my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in its centre. <gasps> oh, it's got a sexy lady in. Golden beauty. Yeah, well, let's hate both of them. Tip top. I would not leave empty-handed. The artifact would sit atop the altar no longer. I stepped into a cold pocket of sorts. I could see my own breath crystallise in the air and every breath was like tiny needles were being jammed into my nose and throat. Oh dear. I think we may have upset the gods a little bit too early on this one. We'll see how much it affects it. I presume it's not going to travel too far. It will eventually stop. It's not like the uh, the dust, I don't think. It's not any harder to cross over, I don't think, either. Have we got the mission? Do we want the mission? We could probably do with the mission, in all fairness. Let's enter the mission. We entered the mission and were welcomed by an old missionary. He rejoiced at the sight of new faces as they had operated remotely for what seemed like an eternity. He greeted Sister Marion warmly and assured us that we were welcome to sleep within the safety of his walls at any time. Ah, she's paying off already. Right, first things first, access storage room. The priest permitted us access to the mission storage room and promised that he would have all items dispatched to the civilised world for us if we were unable to retrieve them ourselves. This is good. It means we can get rid of the goodies straight away. I uh, will keep hold of the map. We, we may come across some way of digging stuff up. Yes, that'll do. After talking about the storage room, the missionary returned to his other duties. So what do you have to trade, friend? The missionary offered us some of his supplies. Oh. Uh, a medikit? Oh, just off. How about a rope? Am I happy with that? I don't think I'm happy with that. Ropes are useful. Uh, we're okay for medikits. How about some colourful marbles? Oh, several. How about a whiskey? Oh, oh, he loves his whiskey. Does our mission mate? Okay, uh, we'll just fill up on rope, I think. That'll do. We reached an arrangement with the missionary and let us rest. The priest was glad to have some company and let us recover in the relative safety of the walls of the mission. As we settled in for the night, we heard some strange sounds originating from the missionary's hut. Oh, yeah. He says he's godly. Do we inspect or do we leave him alone? Hmm. Let's inspect. Curiosity killed the cat. It may kill me. We sought out the source of the commotion and found the missionary, or rather, what he had turned into. It lunged menacingly towards us. Fight or flee. Who were? Uh, uh, fight? We got the bullets, I suppose. Fight! Fight! It's an abomination! Abomination! And we've got our stun as well, which is always handy. Whip crack away. Ooh. Let's kick him. And we'll hold on to those. Ooh. Yeah, I can still only use those. What about if I pour a bullet into this? Will these double up? No, they will not. No, they will not. We'll have a precise attack. Or attack again. And... Two. We'll have two more dice. I don't think it's worth it. He's going to get it around it anyway. There's no point wasting the dice. Oh, he took out the... 
Sister Marion is supposed to be friends. Oh, that's not good. Thankfully, we got a medikit. All right, so we are going to stun him again just in case. Precise attack for three. Boom. We buried the hideous beast in beside the chapel. Not in the chapel, beside the chapel. There was no one here. That's because we killed him. Okay, right, well, that's fine. Uh, oh, we didn't. We didn't actually rest after that anyway. Hey ho. Let us use our first aid kit. We assembled camp to tend to the injured. We used the first aid kit to treat the injuries of Sister Marion. She felt much better afterwards. Tippity top. Uh, we'll hold back the fame point. I'd like to upgrade our trader again because we will be coming across some villages soon. Uh, we do, however, need to get our Santi up a little. So let's eat the meat. Freeze up the space as well and move on to whatever this may be. A hut. It is a shaman. We entered a peculiar looking hut. The interior was particularly musty, with all kinds of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the walls. A native shaman approached us with a wild eyed stare as he chewed on some leaves. Rather skittishly, the shaman got out a small crate and presented his wares. Oh. One of those. Cocoa leaves. Now they've changed the graphic for that. Fair enough. Alrighty. So. So, so, so. What can we get for free? Um, the ailments would be good. Oh, bang on. Deal. It took some effort, but after all, we made a deal with the shaman. Cool. And uh, on to whatever you may be, sir. A cave. We have some torches. Learned from last time. We approached a cave. The entrance led into darkness of unknown depths. We needed a torch to explore its secrets. Well, explore away, sir. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We found a concealed opening in one of the walls that seemed to lead into another part of the cave. Only one person could fit into the opening. Uh, all right, now, I generally am not the best when it comes to this. I think we shall leave the cave. I'm not willing to lose anyone so early. I've never been a fan of that event. It's never gone in my fav favour, generally. Uh, we can, however... Ooh. We're very close to getting the second fame point to upgrade one of these. But if we upgrade Sister Marion right now, we should we do get an extra 10 sanity. And we're not doing very good on sanity right now. Not at all. Or... Or we could use the tone page of random teleportation, which will take us, well, somewhere. We finished exploring this uh, section. So I think because we're, we're a little bit off center from going up, we should just teleport and hope for the best. And it frees up a space as well. Boom. Nice. Where are we? Oh, that actually worked out pretty well for us. Cool. Right. Uh, oh, we still need to eat some beans. I'll do. And we have a stone circle. We came across a stone circle that seemed to be man-made. There were inscriptions painted upon each rock. Perhaps they formed a manner of a map. Uh, what do we find? What do we find? I suppose well, we've obviously found all the caves, which is good. I think we should probably find the settlements. We need to bed down soon. Although the... Uh, oh, they're not that upset with us. Yeah, we'll, we'll reveal the settlements. Ah, oh, we're very close to one. Awesome. Map. Mm. Still don't recognise it. Still don't recognise it. I don't think we've gone beyond it. Let's find out what this is first. Oh, a ship. We made an unusual discovery. The remains of a decayed boat loomed in front of us. As far as I could tell, it must have been some kind of pirate ship. The rotten planks looked like they could collapse at any moment. I made an effort to identify the name. Santa Maria! Uh, we shall search. I was confident we would find something valuable here. I instructed the people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. Oh, dynamite! Please stack with my bullets. Awesome. Dynamite. Very handy. Very handy. And at that point, we should be able to upgrade... I'm running out of health again. We need to get to the uh, 
to the village. Okay, we're about to get a second fame point anyway. Here's here's the score. I'm going to upgrade Sister Marion once. And that should yeah, get us to where we need to be. I've got some hyenas above us. That's fine. Doable. Oh, we've missed one. Bagger. Hey-ho. This evening we reached a village. The villagers seemed to be in reverence of the spirit world. As we arrived, the whole village were bowed before a mysterious-looking idol. While the team unpacked our equipment, I observed the rites with interest. A peculiar stone idol stood proudly in the heart of the village. The villagers seemed to be very happy about our appearance and welcomed us with open arms. Our reputation seemed to be very positive in this region. Really? <laughs> the villagers had been awaiting us. They surely had advance word of our arrival. They were cautious, but politely offered their help, perhaps to see us leave sooner. They can't be that positive then. All right, well, um, I think we shall trade first. So what can we take from you? I, I would like the ivory, the elephant tusk. That's worth quite a bit of monies. And the jewels, ideally. I am willing to swap you a green mushroom. Ooh, a green mushroom. Uh, the rope hasn't come in too handy as of yet. And maybe... Ooh, we need a few bullets to get a standing of plus one. What's our standing at the moment? Minus three. What about dynamite? They like dynamite. You can have two dynamites. And three bullets. That's plus two. That's only minus one standing. We might get away with that for resting. I came to an agreement with the natives. Awesome. And let us rest now. We unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at their campfire. In a quiet moment, one of the village elders gave us a serious look and asked if we knew who had created humankind. So we are Dr. Indiana Jones. He's not going to say God, is he? Unless he wanted to offend them, I suppose. Uh, but then again, he has seen some crazy shit in his time. So, no, we'll, we'll stick to the strict doctor. So, evolution. We explained to him... Oh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot we had a missionary. <laughs> we explained to him that, in our opinion, humans were a natural result of evolution. He nodded quietly as he listened to our explanation. Uh, ooh, steal idol. We don't have the best dice for stealing the idol. I could do with not upsetting the natives to the point of them chasing us around for the time being. So, we'll just sleep. We need the sanity anyway. I got a splendid night's rest. The following morning, I woke to face a crowd of natives. It seems my snoring amused them. We were, at this time, clearly their welcome guests. They remained courteous, and we felt like special guests in the settlement. An elderly woman placed some food by the idol. So, are we still getting away with this? We are. Let's rest again. As darkness fell, the natives lit a campfire and invited us to sit with them. In a quiet moment, one of the village elders asked my opinion. Oh, here we go. We're doing it again. Well, in this case, I'm going to say God this time. Is she happier? No, she's not. We told him that we believe God created humans. He listened to our explanation and went quiet. We'll sleep again. Splendid night's sleep again. It seems my expressive yawning concerned the natives now. An undercurrent of trust was reflected in the natives' mannerisms. Have we gone down anymore? No. They remained kind and wanted to talk some more. Once more, just for fun. Anything more interesting to say? Oh, the natives shared their food with us and we sat by the campfire sharing stories long into the night. Awesome. It seems my bedraggled morning appearance intrigued them. And uh, they're not upset anymore. This is new. Last time, whenever you stopped over in villages, you would lose one standing each time. Or maybe that's just on hard mode. Hey-ho. Uh, we, uh, we, I mean, we can recruit. Can we? Hmm, maybe we can't. We'll leave. I told the men to pack up and headed out, as new adventures awaited us. The natives thanked their gods as I left their village. The subsequent day I caught a glimpse of a village warrior skulking behind me in the distance. Oh, they, they, they led us into a false sense of security. I thought they were our friends, and alas, they don't trust us. Oh, we do have a shrine, though. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's... Mm, I'm going to probably have to drop something. That's the only thing. Well, we'll come to that in a second. We arrived at a long-forgotten shrine. All manner of pl plant life grew towards the sun. Low-hanging vines partially concealed the entrance that led within. The structure showed some big cracks, but it seemed safe enough to explore. 
We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. An altar, illuminated with breathtaking ambience, stood atop a plinth. Mummonies! Right, what are we going to get rid of? You know what? You know what? Jewels aren't worth too much. We'll take all. This was not a day of hesitation. The artifact would sit atop the altar no longer. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to shake wildly. We hurried outside as the shrine collapsed and huge mountains erupted from the ground. A group of native warriors appeared as if by magic. They must have been following me since I left their village. Their leader was clearly furious about my actions and demanded that I, talk, bleh, that, and demanded that I pay tribute as compensation. Uh, well, we, we got stuff to give them, so yeah, we'll pay tribute. We endeavoured to make peace. So you can have that and that. Oh. Greedy. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Uh, you can ha oh, How about the map? No, they don't want the map. Uh, you can have two of those. Two of those. I'm having that back then. We were able to agree on terms with the warriors. They disappeared in the blink of an eye. Are they still upset? Hey ho. Oh, we would appear to have locked ourselves into a little cul de sac of mountains. Um Alright, okay. Right, 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 right. Here's the score. We are going to move to there. We're going to use our dynamite. There are. And we're going to go kill some hyenas, I think. We shall probably go to there. We'll get ready to stop if the hyena decides to move a bit closer. We need food. Stop. And attack the hyenas, damn it. We are going to be... Oh, no, we can use the dynamite again. That's fine. Oh, there's only two. Oh, we'll be fine. Roll. So, whip him. Whip him. Let's go for the ripper leap. That's a four. That will kill him next go. Uh, I'll hold on to you. Roll it. Bastard. Uh, I'm going to need the space, so let's throw as many of these out as we can. And then drowned. Tippity top. Oh, it does stack. What does that do? Cutting whip. Damage for enemy two times stun. That's awesome. I'm going to remember that. whoop -a. We deprive the remains of anything useful. So, uh, oh, they're light. We should definitely take those. We'll take those. They're not worth a lot. I'm not that fussed. So we'll leave those. Right, first things first. Let us cook up. Oh, let us upgrade the chef. Then cook up. Overcooked animal meat now. Jeez. Right, we still don't have... Oh, look at that. Actually, the map doesn't weigh anything. Um, we're, we're kind of scuppered here, in all fairness. This, this region is completely blocked off. So we are going to have to head southwards. 64. 20. 20% 20 chance of going insane A. We'll give it a whirl. I think 20% chance is doable. We got away with it. Tip top. Uh, there is probably no quick way of getting around here. It's going to cost us 43. Whichever way we look at it. Or we could just block the volcano, I suppose. Still, our food stuffs are gonna cover that. Hmm. I hope this is helpful. Or else this is not going to be good. Oh, actually, that's all right. We can we can rest there. Right, so let us blow up the volcano. And we'll just have to... In fact, let's get to the other side of the overhang. We're just going to have to rest until we get up to full sanity. 
Uh, we arrived at a rock overhang. It would serve as a basic shelter against the elements. Okie dokie. We settled down to catch our breath. Not a sound was heard tonight as we sat by the campfire. Everybody was lost in their own troubles, when suddenly Bikaji Baba stood in front of the group and shouted into our faces that not all hope was lost. He expounded about never giving up, and after a while, we started to cheer and applaud ourselves. He somehow rallied the group and instilled new hope. Yes, he lost hope himself. Oh dear. But hey oh, you know, for the better good of the group, I suppose. We prepared for departure. The overhang had proven to be a perfect camping spot. Yes, it was rather useful. Uh, right, so that... Well, we know it's not going to be a cave, so it might be a waterfall. Oh, or the temple. Ah, the temple. Okay, well, I don't think we get anything bad here. From my experience of playing this game, this is going to be the pyramid right here. So, we don't have to worry about that. I mean, we could probably kill whatever comes at us. Oh, cancel. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go to the uh, to the actual temple first. After a long day of travelling, we discovered a majestic temple that was built right into the face of the mountain. We stood in awe of the enormous structure. A large opening led inside. Before us lay some sort of ceremonial chamber. An intricately festooned altar stood in its centre. We found an ornamental goblet filled with a clear liquid standing atop of the altar. Intuition told me that one of our number should drink from it. Well, this is obviously some sort of mystical thing. I think... I think Sister Marion should drink it. She hasn't got the best loyalty. If anyone was going to start causing hoo-ha in the group, it's going to be Sister Marion. So, Sister Marion, drink the fluid. I told Sister Marion to drink from the mysterious goblet. Without a second's doubt, she downed the whole liquid. As she drank from the chalice, her skin began to harden and darken. Soon after, it seemed as if her skin was now much harder and more resistant to harm. Oh, that's actually very good because she was the weakest of them all. The moment we left the temple, a granite block lowered behind us and sealed the portal. There was no way back inside. That is a good thing. 13 health now. Nice. Alrighty, so... On to you. And we've got... Oh, it's a man. I inspected the mysterious more than three metre high rock idol. Its cold eyes seemed to stare at us. Its presence made me uncomfortable. And I desired to move on. I noticed a few items by the statue which must have been put there by the natives of this region. Presumably in an attempt to appease the gods. Please be food. Yeah, we'll take the mangoes. We'll leave the cocoa leaves. There's a chance that they are going to send someone insane. So we won't worry about that. We took what was useful to us from the apparent sacrificial offerings. And we shall eat them all. Nice. So let us find out, A, what this question mark is, and B, oh, it's a tiger. Mm. Oh, that's the pyramid. What, what the bloody hell is that then? Oh, well, either way, we're going to be fighting the tiger first. Just the one. Come on, whip. Nice. Should I go for the other one? We'll go for the other one. So let's take that and that and do the kick. Will... Tactical advantage? No, I can use them better. We shall hold on to you. Roll again. Uh, what again? Oh, we got it. Awesome. And let's throw our bullets in, just for good measure. So we can do damage to shield free or damage free outright. Well, the tiger can't use any of its dice in the next round. So we'll do a precise attack and end the round. Oh, I'll put the defense up as well. Why not? Why not? Boom. So that should be you finished off. What do you do then? Shackling whip. One damage, two stunned. No, we'll go we'll go for the hardcore, not at all amount. There we go. We deprive the remains of anything useful. Uh so we'll take you and you. Are you worth any more? Well, I don't think we're going to be able to Really use you up. 
I'll tell you what, we'll take it and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with our inventory. So we're one slot overburdened, which is fine. Oh, which is fine because we're going to use up the meat now. Like that. We're all good. Uh, right, well, we've got enough sanity. We might as well find out what this is. Oh, it's a trader. Okay. A wandering tradesman had pitched up camp here. The mysteriously dressed trader had a lot of valuable goods on offer. All of them had undoubtedly been used before, probably during other unsuccessful expeditions. What do you got? He hesitated before presenting us with a selection of his wares. We could not help but think that he had more valuables to sell. Always holding something back. Oh, Bikaji Noir Dralji. So, what can you do for me? Oh, what's that? A sextant navigation instrument to measure distances between two visible objects. Oh. That is rather useful. Mm. We have got the perk to uh, for distance already, though, don't we? So, I'll tell you what. How many... I need stuff which is going to stack. Unless. Yeah, you like that, don't you? You love it. Okay. Um, that does free that up. Oh. He likes that too. Uh, let's uh, give him one of them. Oh, that's far too expensive. How about some rope? Have some rope. That'll work. Will that work? Yeah, that'll work. Good. The merchant seemed expectant regarding our possible return to continue our mutually beneficial relationship. Sorry, son. I am out of here. I am going home. Oh, what's this? Leather skin. And uh, let's explore. The Pyramid of Gold was our goal, but for the claiming. Outwitting all trials before us, we had succeeded. Huzzah. After all this hardship, you four you overcame me. I knew that my name, Indiana Jones, would be written about long after I departed this life. Farewell. So, uh, that was okay. That was okay. I was a little worried towards the start, but we, we managed to pull through. And we still finished first, which is, you know, as much as you can ask for, really. Let me see. Alright, let me see. We have Bullet Hoarder. That's good. That is very good. And uh, we have Jungle Explorer, reduce movement costs in thick jungle, uh, and good reputation. Start each expedition with a standing bonus. Uh, oh, I see. I'd love the bullets if they haven't changed. What a trusty donkey! Ah, oh, yeah, my trusty donkey. Uh, we um. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's nice to have the bullets. Last time I played this game, they didn't weigh anything, which is good because it means it doesn't take up any slots in your inventory. But I do tend to annoy the natives pretty quickly. So the plus four standing in uh, at the start of each mission would be good as well. I'm going to go with good reputation, I think. Huzzah! Huzzah. So kind of you. Oh, well, it's right back ahead again. That's that's not bad at all. We're a fraction behind, so we we can actually spend a lot more with the auction than we can with the museum. But with that being said, we're going to sell that. This belongs in a museum. There we go. I did it. All right. So um, that's not a lot of difference. So how much are these worth? Forty. 50 fame, seventy fame. Let us sell that. Uh, we'll be selling all of the teeth. We'll sell that too. And we'll gift the sexy golden lady. So we are quite, quite far ahead now. Over 100, which is all good for us. And we have three to choose from next time around. We have the Unforgiving Desert. We have the Curious Jungle, which has a portal. Oh, and the desert does. What about you? The Treacherous Arctic. That has a portal too. That has quite a few shrines, actually. Ooh. Well, we may go to the Arctic next time around. But that's the next time around. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.